Hey guys, welcome back to Andrew Pemmin YouTube. Thanks for joining me. Um, dudes, dudesses, uh, look, wow. Um, I had a look at my subscriber list just a couple of days ago. It's not what I normally do. I don't actually look at it because I'm too busy doing these reviews and uh, it's not what I'm all about. I'm not after, when I set out on this journey and this adventure, I wasn't uh, after fame, fortune, money. I haven't, I haven't monetized my channel. I won't, um, I, don't, I don't make any money out of my channel. Uh, it's all for love, passion of the industry and help you guys. So, you know, it's a very humbling experience to see so many people that rely on my reviews and come here. And we haven't had a chat for a while about electric skateboards. Uh, so today's a great opportunity to sit with you and new subscribers. I've got my I've got my yes button and my bullshit button and my bell and my warning car and my light bulb moment. So you'll, you'll get to know visually what I do, how I review things. Uh, you know, spread the word, guys. This is a safe place to come on the internet if you want to get really good advice about, you know, honest, backed up evidence, detailed analysis, and really honest, non biased. I pay for every electroscope that I get. So, uh, you know, anyway, that's where we are at this point. Thank you. I'm very humble and very privileged and grateful for the amount of uh, 800 subscribers. Wow. Uh, okay. Um, we'll move along. Today, it's a very, very, very exciting review. We've got the uh, Onan uh, X2 four-wheel drive. Now, uh, we're doing the hill climb test today. This is probably one of the most, this is its its forte. This is what it does. This is the animal in the jungle, what it does best. It's the hill climb test, uh, which is, you know, it's the, fu it's the most powerful production electric skateboard off the rack you can buy. Let's park the price at 699 US or 700, even a bit less if you buy a couple. Uh, and let's look at, don't even look at the Evolve uh, GT Carbons. I mean, we had a race, you saw that on my channel. I've got it in, there's a little sneak at the end. Um, it held its own, it didn't even, it, the Evolve couldn't beat it. So we're gonna go to the field now. I'm gonna just sit back, put your feet up. A lot of information will come to you very quickly. Uh, as graphs and, and angles and videos, but I do my normal one, two, three hills around my, I'm lucky I live on a escarpment here high. You saw my house at the front of the, the drone footage. Uh, so I've got three beautiful hills, one, two, three. And the third one, the 22% grade, and now I'm calling 22% grades and also angles as in degrees. So, any arguments about guys saying all oh, the degrees, right? Blah, 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 blah. Come on now, that ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. We're going to keep it to the both d differentiate so you can see that, guys. So, uh, hill three is where I do my test on the speed up the hill to see what is the record. It was the uh, cool wheel at 18 kilometers an hour, then the coup board at 21 kilometers an hour, then the land wheel generation five beat that last month, 22 kilometers per hour up that hill. And today, uh, I think we've got a record coming, so sit back and watch. If it does beat it by 22, 23 kilometers, it'll be impressive. We'll see what it can do. Uh, and then um, the last hill I've introduced now, Hill 4, which is the Killer Hill. And the Killer Hill is 26% grade. It's um, 15 de degree angle. It's it's not quite Ballman Street with Jeff Annie and Evolve in New Zealand, but you know we're talking pretty steep uh, and we'll test that and see what the speed up of that is. That's only going to be used for four wheel drives or 600 watt motors uh, or greater on the hubs because otherwise it can damage and, and really burn out motors. So that's what we're doing later on in this vlog. So sit back guys, relax, enjoy and watch the, uh, the stunt work by moi uh, and we'll uh, get back after and we'll talk about pros and cons and we'll have a discussion about how it went. So sit back, enjoy. Okay guys, I'm just going to uh, do the weight of the Onan X2 four wheel drive with my luggage. Um, luggage weight so it's only 11 it's 10 point 11 point 11 point 2 kilos what that's insane okay you can see it's got plenty of power it's that hill like nothing no problem at all on the Onan four-wheel drive. Okay, the Onan X2 on the hill climb two. 
Let's go. Okay, ready? Standing start. This thing's got some kick. Wow. Wow, that had some speed to it then. Okay guys, we're about to do the hill climb test on the Onan X4 on high speed. So here we go. This is the Vito meter. This is it. This could be the record. This could be the record. I think we've got the record up the hill. Yes, we have. 20. Whoa. Whoa, have to slow right down to here. So this is the hill we're doing today and this is the Onan X2 on high speed. This is a first time for... Wait! Okay, this is the first time on the internet or anywhere it's done this, so let's see what the speed on this is. Whoa, this is steep. That's steep. Oh, oh, it's got so much power. Awesome. Thank you. temperatures after that hill climb at 27 degree gradient so inside hub is 30.4 degrees other inside hub 34 degrees well difference there outside hub is 31.6 the actual wheel is 40 degrees the wheel wow okay um impressed yeah yeah okay um, riding? No. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. This is one of the best performances I've had on electric skateboard hill climb. It had to be. It's 4,400 watts. It's like six cowboys ride past you on a horse, horses and the dust goes up. This is six horsepower. So we're talking a lot of grunt. 12 kilos weight. It is like a motorbike without... Uh, handlebars and without a seat as I said before it's a beast so um, it got uh, well the hill one was the one you sort of get around your local you know area hill two is just sort of more your hill you get on a CBD the central over footbridges that kind of stuff in the city hill three is my benchmark hill test which I test the speed and there we saw it got 29 kilometers per hour okay yes. I've got no more buttons to push um, 29 kilometers to beat the record by seven kilometers per hour. So this is putting it up there in Hussein Bolt uh, category of uh, skateboard, but it has got 4,400 watts. It's got four wheels turning at the same time. Okay, hill four we checked out. Uh, that's the killer hill, the new one I'm going to be doing, and we saw it 22 kilometers per hour up that hill. That was really impressive. Uh, you know, that's that's not quite as I said. Um, you know, uh, Jeff Anning. You know, and uh, 
Baldwin Street, New Zealand, uh, but it's getting up there and it's 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 a pretty impressive um, result. I'll only use a set on that hill for um, more powerful motors. Um, okay, uh, today's rating, what I'm gonna give it, uh, let's just cut the chasing of the rating. It's gonna be the highest rating I've ever given an electric skateboard for hill climbs, uh, or any rating on any category of any electric skateboard under the 600 US market that I have been reviewing, and we're gonna give it 9.8 stars out of 10. Congratulations, Onan. Um, Queenie, uh, the guys in Shenzhen, uh, Shenzhen, China, um, congratulations. This is an astounding result um, and a really good, um, you know, sort of reflection on the work you guys have been doing. You've made version two now, very humble. They don't change the name, they don't change the look. You just go into the bonnet and fix a few things. What have they fixed? Well, it's now got a FOX system, which is, FOX stands for, um, uh, field orientation control. It's a vector system. It's the latest technology in this uh, lineage curve. Now, they used to have the normal PCB. Uh, they've gone, I think, don't underestimate guys what's coming out of China in PCB and FOC. They will challenge VES, VETA 6s uh, and VESCs big time. Uh, I know I've ridden everything and you know, there's a lot of good stuff. This is a very, very beautiful machine now, completely refined. It doesn't have the over limit current uh, isolator, doesn't lock up anymore or throw you if it's getting low on battery. Uh, that's all been re removed. It's just beautiful. If you want one, the message below links in the description field for Queenie uh, from Onan. She's brilliant and she is on top of all this uh, and just to to have a talk to her about uh, the prices and what you what you, what what she can offer you. Um, as I said, I get involved now. I just review these things, but it is an exceptional skateboard. So uh, look, that's wrapping up today, guys. Um, it's pretty much an incredible result for Onan, and uh, I'm really happy that, that they've they've achieved the record today. And I think it's something that's uh, you know understated and humble company. There's a lot of hype out there on the big names, and they're not delivering. They're not getting the dates. They're not getting skateboards out. Uh, you know, you've got the Carvon Evo with four-wheel drive, you've got the Jed board, you've got a few other usual suspects in the four-wheel range category. I know, I know that Mello are doing a back-to-back -back system now. This is phenomenal value, phenomenal technology, and it's an absolute, it's my, my favorite Mitchell Escape at the moment to ride. Uh, so um, stay tuned to my channel. We've got a lot of stuff happening. We've got the Vareel V1 hill climb test like this, and that excelled as well. That's very interesting. We've got the land wheel speed test generation five. I think that at 2,200 watts could even beat this in speed. That's an amazing electric booster. I'm really blown away with the, with the land wheel generation five. It's even better than the Mellow. I, my opinion, sorry guys, Mello, but I think it's just incredibly designed. Uh, we've also got the Zill board coming. This is the other end of what I normally do. Um, so, 100% yes! If, you want, if you've got the money, you're an enthusiast, you're an incredible rider, you want speed around about 60 kilometers per hour or 70, look at the Zill board. You're gonna be not get much change out of 3,000 Australian dollars, but it is gonna be one of the most technically advanced dual six a battery management system with e-drive. No one else in the world is doing this from New York, the, the Tramper guys. No one is doing what we're about to release on my channel. No one else will see it, but only here on the new Zill board. So a lot to see guys. Till then, happy skating, safe skating. I'll talk to you in the next vlog on the For Real V1. That's gonna be the hill climb. And then we got the quick, after that, within a few days, we got the land wheel speed test. Okay guys, uh, we'll talk in the next vlog. Until then, I'll see you there.